So this week's topic is effortless messaging. Um, so I know I'm confident all of you have probably sent messages from within pipeline um, already um, and they're super straightforward you enter a message just like you would into an email system but there are lots of areas that um, I want to go into today that you may or may not be familiar with but that will really help you maximize um, sending your messages and a lot of automated features that will help you spend less time sending messages or even make them pretty much um, automatic so again just making your messaging process effortless. Alrighty, so let's hop over to pipeline. Okay, so first let's go down to the message section or the note slash email section. Um, so first I wanted to go over this top area, which is straightforward. This is who you're going to send um, your message to. You'll have the ability to add a note or email and send it to uh, internal people or people in your account or send it to an external contact or you can even just add a note to the, the transaction. We'll go over all three of those. Um, so the way that you would send it to someone internal is through this first section here. You can easily check off who you want it to go to, your listing agent, your selling agent, or your staff. Um, the reason I wanted to mention this area is because sometimes people don't realize that you can actually uh, manage who shows up in this area. So if you set, if you've got a user who's set as an admin, they'll automatically appear here if they've got the option set under manage users to show them in the staff area of messages. So um, let me head over here just real quickly and show you where that is. Um, when you're looking at someone under manage users, I open that in a separate window so we can see this here, um, and you're looking at their profile down here, you can say mm -mm -mm -mm, include this user in the staff recipients section of notes. Okay. So if that's checked, then they'll appear in this section. Okay, so just want to mention that you can control who shows up here. And that's just in case you don't want um, that this person usually shouldn't be the recipient of the communications from agents, for example. So you don't want them to show up. You just want the people who are, the messages should be directed to. Okay, um, next is your subject, subject, straightforward. Obviously this is, um, I'm sorry, I jumped down one too far. Uh, you, uh, here's where you can send to someone internal. Um, the next field is where you can specify an external email address. So you can type an email address here, maybe Jane at whatever, right? Or um, more uh, efficiently, you can drag and drop email addresses down here. So if you've got contacts listed here, you can drag, um, oops, that one does not have an email address. So that's why that wasn't draggable into there. But anyone, that's, uh, any contact that's got an email address, you can drag them to that area. So pretty much once you establish your contacts up here, you're never typing email addresses anymore. So super convenient there. Um, you can also drag listing agents, especially I've got this outside listing agent here, right? I can um, drag their, their email address there as well. Okay, um, notice when I dragged, while we're on the subject of dragging and dropping, when I dragged that contact to areas illuminated, so I can also drag a contact to the message area to share that contact's information, okay? Um, same for agents, right? Again, share an agent's information. So um, super easy. If you're ever curious whether you can drag and drop, drop something, just give it a try um, and see if it works because there's lots of drag and drop capabilities throughout here. Okay. Um, and sharing this contact information is convenient when you need to share it. For example, maybe you're sharing a, um, a, an inspector's contact information with a buyer or something. All right. Okay. So that is sending to an external uh, contact. Um, next is the subject. Um, which again, straightforward, same as you've got in a regular email system. Um, one thing about the subject though, is that by default, the system will automatically ad append or attach the transaction name to the subject if you don't include it, right? So that's a, a convenience that it'll automatically att attach that. But if you don't want that, uh, the transaction name to be appended, then you can actually suppress that. It's a little secret. We're actually gonna add it to the, um, to the help text there. But if you include a pipe, which is the character that's just above your backslash on your keyboard, this tall line, if you include that at the beginning of your subject, you know, whatever your subject is, then that will, actually I don't even need that space, then that will tell the system don't attach the transaction name to this subject. Okay, so just a little um, pro user tip there. Okay, so now we get into some magic stuff. 
well, I guess dragging was kind of magic, but this is even more magical. Okay, so uh, what, uh, the first thing I want to mention is um, using your message templates. And that's straightforward also, but super helpful because it helps save so much time um, for messages that you send regularly. So if I wanted to um, send a message the way, um, let's say this were the message, even though this has got some just contacts in it, um, and I wanted to save this as a reusable message template, I would just check this option down here, name it whatever I want to name it, and then send that message or save it. Um, and then the next time when I come to send a message, that closing docs or whatever I named it will be list in, uh, listed here in my list of message templates. Okay. Um, let me you um, show an example of just a message template here, just to so, show how basic they can be, and, and it could be whatever it, you need to say. Please attach docs, or um, here's a list of incomplete docs, and then you uh, append incomplete or whatever, right? And we'll go over those in a moment. Um, but again, just setting up a, a, um, a message that you can reuse later, okay? Now, making them even more powerful is, are, are the message tags. Right? Message tags allow you to use placeholders in the message um, that will pull information from the specific each specific transaction when you use that message. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about how the message tags work um, because we did a whole webinar on that a couple weeks ago or two weeks ago or so um, that you can uh, look at the recording for. Um, but I do want to, I'll just show uh, Plex one's got elaborate information in it, including some contact. Uh, tags and some some basic ones like close date, etc., um, so that you can see when I. Um, but I do want to. I'll just show uh, Plex one's got elaborate information in it, including some contact uh, tags and some some basic ones like close date, etc., um, so that you can see when I preview it, it fills in information that's specific to this particular transaction, whether it's you know uh, closing dates or contact information or agent names, etc. Right. So makes it, it basically allows you to create your own custom message template, pulling specific information from the transaction. Okay. But again, that makes your, your templates super powerful because you are customizing them. Okay. So um, I mentioned how you can drag and drop um, contacts. Um, both into the, uh, the email area as well as the message area. You can also drag and drop tasks. Um, so if I wanted to dra uh, drag individual tasks instead of appending whole list down here, which again, we'll still get into, I could do that. And when I do it, it'll also drag the, um, the due date information, including if there is a relative due date associated with that. So super uh, easy way to go ahead and get that information there quickly without having to retype it, okay? And sneak peek for you guys on the call, which we always like to tell you guys stuff in advance, um, is soon you'll be able to drag entire checklists over to the message area, okay? So that should be coming fairly soon. Um, but for now, again, you can do the individual ones, all right? Then the last thing I wanted to go over um, these options before I give you some more broad tips. Um, one, uh, the, over on the right-hand side here, like I mentioned, you've got the ability to append or attach a list of incomplete tasks to the message or completed tasks or overdue tasks to the message. Um, so that's a, a quick way to be able to get that list of that category of tasks and attach to them to the end. Um, you've also, also got the ability to make the note private, um, which means that only you and the recipient and admins will be able to see it when it's listed down here. Okay. BCC yourself is obvious, and then saving the message template we already talked about. Okay. Um, and then the last option down here, um, in, in addition to the ability to, to attach docs, obviously, is the ability to attach the transactions cover sheet. And that'll generate um, a cover sheet that's specific to this transaction. Um, and be sure to tune in to an upcoming webinar because we, it will be about that cover sheet and the different um, options you've got there, but we'll also solicit feedback from you guys to see what kind of things you want to see on the cover sheet because we've got um, uh, a task to update that, that cover sheet for you all in the future to have it be as appropriate as possible for what your needs are um, to show on there. Okay, so be sure to attend that one. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to go over was um, just some more broad tips of how to really maximize using your messages. Um, again, straightforward to go ahead and send uh, messages to people, but um, also keep in mind a few other uses like uh, when a transaction closes. Often an agent will want to download, want a download of all of the docs uh, related to that particular transaction. 
uh, sending a message with the attached docs is a perfect way to do that because the agent can log in, um, come down here and click this top box to select all the docs that they've got access to view, right? And then um, send them to themselves, okay? So that's a convenient way of doing that. Um, also, earlier I mentioned um, appending incomplete or completed or overdue tasks to send uh, to send to someone. Um, when you append tasks, it only sends tasks to um, internal users, right? This information in, in uh, pipeline is for your internal users only. So if you send this message to an outside contact, it's not going to include anything that you append there. So in those cases, you can either drag and drop the, uh, the tasks over here, or like I said, I'm dragging the entire checklist in the future, um, if you want to send those um, tasks to an outside contact, right, instead of doing this, this append feature, or you can just append and then send it to yourself, right, and then that, and that way you can forward that message that you receive on to whomever you want to have it, okay? And that can generally be um, uh, useful if you want to send yourself a message to, to see whatever it is that's um, in the system here. So no limitations there. Um, and then two last things. And uh, the, the first is, uh, oh, just recognizing that third reason for using this note slash message um, area. I mentioned you can send it to internal users, you can send it to external users, or you can just add a note to the system. If you do not specify any external users or internal users, anything that you type here will add it as a note, okay? And that means that it'll appear down here at the bottom as a note, but won't actually have any recipients, right? Not emailed to anyone, okay? And then lastly is even more broad. Um, you know, the, the messages are straightforward. You can send them to people, et cetera. Pretty much through everything that you do throughout Pipeline is straightforward, but when you combine different features, you can really leverage even more power. So for example, if I were to um, set up a task like I've got here to send a one year anniversary message to the seller after a close, right? So I can set this to be due 365 days after close. That way I get a reminder to come here and send this one year anniversary message of which I've got a message template, right? And it automatically drafts a message um, that's a, 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 addressed to the right person, comes from the right person, says the information I want to say, I can use whatever message tags I want within there. So super easy to streamline different things, whether it's an anniversary, whether it's a, a reminder to contact someone, you know, at a certain date after close or, you know, before close or whatever. So kind of think outside of the box regarding how you can use your, particularly your tasks together with message templates to really leverage um, uh, streamlining exactly what you want to happen and when. Okay. And that's it that I've got for just really taking advantage of all the different features of messages so that you can work as little as possible and have the system manage um, things that need to happen.